All right, I'm gonna continue working on this small cutaway house. Um, this is what we got from part one. And reminder that uh, I've linked to the uh, image uh, in part one, if you wanted to follow along with, uh, with the modeling on this thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make this little two-seater couch. Okay, so I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna select that, Shift D, and start scaling it. Bring it forward and start placing it in the room. So just scaling it in the X and in the Y and that kind of thing. Just kind of get a sense of where it's going to go. Just scale that in the Y. Somewhere in that area. I'm going to look down from the top and I think I'm going to break it out. P. Make it a new object. Find it. Set the origin of geometry. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go into edit mode and wireframe and I'm actually going to use uh, snap to increment make sure this is turned on and I'll grab that edge and I'll just drag it like that and I'll, I think I'm going to snap it like this and see if that's a reasonable shape for that Zoom in a bit more. I can do stuff like that. All right, let's say it is. Um, where's the where's the side view there? Uh, it's right on the floor, but that's okay. I'm gonna go hit E and then extrude and pull up. And how tall is this? Kind of to the lower frame almost might be good it's gonna come off the wall off the floor so let's let's do that let's bring it up to there have a look okay obviously it's not gonna go up that high because I'm just gonna make the base So now that I've extruded, I'm gonna I'll select that face and uh, come back down. Maybe to there. Okay. Maybe even shorter than that. One, two, maybe even three. To do the white part. Okay, look from the top and wireframe. I'm gonna hit I to inset. I'm just gonna accept the default. It doesn't really matter as much as you want. And I'm in wireframe already. And then I'm gonna EV extrude and I'll come down, I think, to there. I want a little indent. Like that. I'm gonna stop for the moment and I'm gonna put the bevel on it. So I'm gonna, with that selected, I'm gonna select the window frame. It has a very small amount of bevel, but I'll try that. Control L modifiers. Alright, and then I come back in and I'm gonna select, keep that, well, that face is already selected. If it wasn't, I'll select it again. And um, I think I'm gonna take that and break it away just have that so now it's uh, removed from there and uh, with that piece selected I'll go into edit mode on that and I'm gonna hit E to extrude and I'm gonna start bringing it up it'll snap but of course it doesn't have to come up that high Okay, so it's right there. Let's bring it up. Just a, it's kind of just by eye. You know, to make the cushion like that. And from top view, I'm now going to add an edge loop. But let's see if there's a way I can do this a little bit more exactly. If I grab that and I pull it up to there, 
and I grab this. I go to here. Now, zoom in a bit better. There. for a second and uh, okay that's fine I'm gonna put an edge loop here and I'm gonna get a um, sort of a width of this that's similar to the thickness here. I can always move this. I'm going to take this piece, E to extrude, and I'm going to bring it up. That might not be thick enough. Let me check out. I'll turn that off for the time being. I think I'm done with snapping. Okay, I'm going to make it thicker than that. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, what do I want to do? Let's move it all up. Let's grab just the bottom stuff here. And let's just by eye now. Start doing that. Okay, give it some nice thickness. And then um, to make it thicker in the this part of the cushion, I'm just going to look for the side and wireframe. I'm going to grab this part. So I'm not really snapping now. I'm just doing it by eye. And I'll say, you know, this height and that thickness is similar. Let's have a look at that. And if I take that and slide it back in. Mm -hmm. I still want it a little thicker, actually. Grab these. Just a little bit more. And therefore... From the side, I'll do the whole edge a little bit more as well. I'll set the origin of geometry on that guy, and just wondering if it's too wide. I feel like it is. So I'm going to scale these in object mode, scale in the Y. Let's do that. And what I was thinking of doing is putting an edge loop here, control R. And um, maybe I'll actually break it and get rid of this. Select that whole edge and call X, delete vertices. And then I have to rebuild that side. So in vertex selection, I'll just make a face there. Select those, make a face there. And then at edge selection, I'll, I'll just do this. And I have two of them. Shift D, I'll copy this one over. So in a small gap, I'm gonna put uh, the bevel on there. small gap in between them. That's probably all right. Let's uh, shift H on those. We'll come to the bottom here. And I'll delete these faces. So they won't be seen. Alt H to bring that back still. Won't delete the bottom faces on this guy, but we'll shift H and uh, we're going to make some legs. Shift D to copy that and scale. 
scale in the Y and the scale globally. So I'm just making a square. Control 7 left from the bottom, G. I'll drag it over to here. Pretty close to the corner, but a little bit underneath. E to extrude, and I'll come down. X, we'll get rid of that face, and uh, come in here and get rid of that face as well. So I just got the nice parts. And uh, Control 7. I'm just going to duplicate Shift D. Vertex and I'll select that and control L. That selects everything. Shift D and we'll bring them down here. Now is that too small? They look shrimpy to me. pretty small. No, man, I think, I think we're... Oh, it still looks so small. I think we gotta go a little bit bigger. So let's select the whole thing and just scale. what it would be like if I was to take this mm. these aren't going to be nice to extrude because they're going to be angled which might be a neat effect but uh, I'm not sure that's what we want yeah I don't really like that so I'm not going to do that so obviously I backed up too much faces would be okay, that piece there, and the one on the very end, that one there, and so what I could do 
So I could hit E and SX. Uh, I'm in individual origins for some reason. SX, scale amount and equal amount. And then take that one and this one. And extrude them up like this. But this one I wouldn't extrude up as high. I just want to see if I like that uh, overall. You know, with a little bit of a gap there, and I might. Let's take this piece here, and uh, let's break it out like we did before. Set the origin of geometry. Select it and just extrude it up to make the mattress. Uh, but of course, we'll have to scale it a little bit to fit inside there. Select it all and control and flip polys. And, um, I guess it's too much. Too deep, yeah. That's fine. So let's see. That's the black mattress there. So the headboard and baseboard is a little bit uh, further off from the, uh, the legs. Just like that. I think that's, I think that's kind of cool. I think the whole thing needs to be wider. Perhaps the whole thing needs to be a little shorter. All right, so yeah, maybe in order so you can get into the bedroom there. Um, I think a better way to do this is not just to do that, is to, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I can do these one at a time, that's okay. I'll do the bed part. And then the mattress. So I'm just going to come in maybe to about there. And I'll take the mattress. And I'll come in and just make it fit. feel like they're still too small. I just want to see if I scale this in the Z. If I would be happier with that. I am. A small amount bigger for both of these. Enough for now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No. Okay, these little chests here that are uh, three drawers. We'll go in here. Let's take that piece, shift D, bring it over, scale it a bit. G to grab. P to break it out and make it an own its own object. Set the origin of geometry. Select it, extrude down just to start it off. Flip the polys. Let's start putting you on the floor and imagine you there. Okay, so you're gonna you rotate Z90 actually. You're sort of like that shape roughly. I'll fix you up soon. Let's get the height. Okay, past the mattress, halfway roughly. So you're narrow but tall. So past that. Not 
quite halfway, but just like that. Okay. And uh, what are you? Three drawers. So two edge loops. Select these front faces. Hit I I I twice. Defaults. Fine. Eat extrude. Pull out a little bit. Not too much. Maybe that much. That'll show the drawers. Lift it up so that we see that it's on the floor, but we see that bottom drawer. Now I can still manipulate it. And by the way, why is all my layers selected? I'm going to scale this in the Y a little bit. Okay, what kind of handles? Just knobs, I think. Let's select this front face and shift S cursor to select it and we'll make a little knob so shift A mesh circle let's go for a small amount of vertices like 16 all right go to edit mode and scale it period key to zoom in rotate Y 90 and scale it down okay and I'm going to hit E to extrude and come out a little bit. E S to scale in. And then mesh faces grid fill. I'm going to choose two. And then I'll select that edge. Control B to bevel. And I'll put in, you know, just a couple of edge loops. And I'll try just smoothing. And see if that's enough of what I would need to do. I can scale this a little bit bigger because it's such a small thing so that it's visible put it there okay nice big knob and then uh, I don't know we'll copy that shifty down to there shifty down to there very simple before you go any I go any further Shift H on this thing and come to the bottom and we'll delete that face. Alt H to bring everything back. And I'll select these knobs and this and I'll go Control G to make a little group. And I can call it I don't know, chest or something. And uh, Shift T and we'll duplicate it over to this side. pieces here so for example this thing which is almost the same but it's a little bit thinner and so what I may do is I might take this and copy it down here and, and work on that so I think I'm going to do that so I take this and this and this and this shift deep and then bring it downstairs now guess it's the same height so what we'll do is we'll look at this we'll go into wireframe and edit mode this and the way I would do it is just box selecting any of these uh, modes face selection or whatever and to start doing it this way There's not too much stuff to put there, so it doesn't really almost doesn't matter how long I make this, it's reasonable. And I'll look down from the top and I'll box select that back and I'll make it a little narrower. And I'm just gonna move it back, I'll deal with the, the knobs in a bit. sides how about that Sh 
Shift T and just drag them out. Now, I still feel like everything's too short. But I could be wrong. But I don't think I am. I'm just going to experiment with something here. I'm just going to move these even though they, they've changed a bit. Still look at the top ones. I think that's better. I think everything needs to be adjusted. That's the way I feel. I'd rather have it the proportions a little bit better that I like than uh, be frustrated the whole time. So, you know, they don't have to be the exact same size. I'm just going to lengthen them. And I'll do this. Let's work on one at a time. So. It's a little repetitive. Apologize for that. No, do I want it any wider? <clears throat> I may have wanted to do that. If I do a group, I think I get the other one as well, so I won't do it that way. Just select these individually, and this one, Shift D, copy it over, and I just want to consider this a little bit bigger so that it's not so far down from this window. And the same for you. On the other hand, I know that this is a short um, frame, and so what I might do is I might scale these back down a little bit, or even a lot, and just carve the mattress a bit bigger. Headboard and footboard. I'll pull them up a bit more. And the headboard itself go up even more. And I think I'll, I'll end up feeling better about the size of things. Okay. Cool. Let's grab a piece to make that picture. Let's grab that, shift D, pull it up. See how easy that could be. Let's scale it. P to break it out. Make it its own object. Let's zoom in on it. It's nicely centered, although it doesn't have to be. Mm, it's, it is close to that size, I think. Let's go in, and what does it need? This is really simple. That's okay. Let's extrude it out. Inset. And push it in. Let's just leave it like that. I'm not going to delete any back faces or anything. I'm just going to not do that. I'm just going to take it and move it over a little bit. We'll just leave that there. Let's keep going with uh, some of these items before we start getting into 
cylindrical stuff. Look at this, look, look at this shape. Okay, this little table here. Flip it upside down. And you got that. So let's do that. Okay. How about we do, do over here? How about if we how if we take this shift D and bring it up? P to break it out. Select that. Okay, now. It's gonna be a different dimension of it. Scale that in the X like that. We'll scale it in the Y like that. We'll get this the size of this coming. And what I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna take this edge and this edge, E to extrude, I'm gonna bring it up like that. And let's try solidify on this. Choose uh, even thickness. I'm going to bring it above the bevel. And uh, that's about what we want, I think. Uh, whether or not we want that much bevel. position of that about halfway through the windows about halfway along the wall maybe not quite that high no it is about that high let's um let's take that shifty let's bring it downstairs first of all and let's rotate y 180 and see if we can get a table out of this Okay, so first of all, I'll take it and uh, scale this in the X. Now, I haven't applied the uh, the solidify. This particular one looks like it would need to be thicker. So let's start upping the thickness there and seeing if it's behaving, which I think it is. The legs seem almost shorter. It's low down. Uh, I don't know that I want to make them shorter though. Let's look relative to the height on that if I can. Almost like first drawer level. Uh, it's really tough with these sometimes. It just looks too shrimpy. Here it looks like it works, but here it just doesn't. <clears throat> so, um,. I actually think I'm going to have to, is that just the one side? No, okay. I, I actually am going to increase its size a little bit. For better or for worse. <clears throat> Until we get it. And really, to make this thing, I would just have to close one side of that and change its shape, wouldn't I? Let's do that. Let's grab it over here. Let's rotate Z90. Either, either or. Uh, let's go minimal. Let's scale this in the Y. solidify still on it's not that bad and I don't know if that's got a back on it or what uh, or if it's got a shelf I think it's got it no oh I see it's closed here and then it's open yeah we can do that Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and apply the solidify, and then I've got this, and now I can take this face, and let's see if I just pull it up, it'll give us roughly the shape that we want, and this is a simple way of doing it, 
maybe I can get away with a little bit less panel. A little bit better. I'll also do that. <clears throat> I'll scale this in the Z so it's a bit more box-like. And a bit more, it's a bit taller. So that's, that's an easy piece to do. Come to the bottom of that and get rid of that face as well. And get rid of other faces too. I'm not going to worry about it yet. And I just want to see relative to the window. Okay. All right. Building up the little pieces inside this. Um, yeah. This thing. Let's just let's just build it from scratch, uh, or at least from this piece. Take this face, shifty, bring it over. Let's break it out right now. And see how long we want it relative to this. It's hard to tell. If I make it the same, it wouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to bring it down. I'm going to extrude it up. How high is it? Maybe twice the height or maybe similar to this. It's hard to tell. So we're just going to do something. That's okay. I'm going to go put an edge loop there and grab these two faces in II and then extrude out not too much. That's that. Yeah, that's okay. Keep it big, these doors. You can always go back in and uh, make it a bit smaller. Shifty scale, scale of the X. I'll just make it come out. Heat extrude like that. I'm going to X that faces, select a bit, control L, and then I'm going to rotate Z 180. Scale down the X a bit more. And I'll shifty and copy it over here. faces okay that's pretty good there's a lot of stuff right there so maybe we'll leave it at that for this for this video as we start to populate our little our little room here house very nice. Okay, see you next time.